season pass. Since the last time, he pick up a pen to write his life on a blank sheet of paper, until that they became ERs. It was 2020 now, almost at its end. The human civilization gave its best in that year. We saw all sorts of things, between restriction from the authorities and disinformation and fake news by the mass media and by other government bodies. But back to us. A couple of years had passed since he is missing from the UK. He had spent that period of time in dead hands. He certainly didn't want to be a rat in a maze, but close roads were always around the corner. He would even dare to insinuate that the world was a huge cage from which there was no escape. But these were observations he often made when drunk. In this meander of the mind, he had embarked on a one-way journey into a desert of solitude. The indifference of people and the carelessness of his loved ones in showing a little support for him confined him to that ghetto of loneliness and despair. The funny and ironic side of the story was clear to him from the only encounters he had in this desolate environment. This desert was inhabited only by predator impostor. The irony of fate would like to make this last his only traveling companions. He, in his mind, allocated the impostors and predators as adversities from which he could not escape. Adversity, just like the despair one feels in understanding that you cannot survive in life from death. Escaping, suffering, seem to him to be practically impossible, but these were problems from which you had to wash your back at every new meeting and still come out winner. So it was a waste of time to pay too much attention to them. He had remained an enterprising person, but over time, kindliness and laziness took over and prevailed over him, leaving him prey to doubt and fears. He considered them unpaid bill with fate, but inertia born from so much delay only served as an anchor into his hostile land. It uh, did nothing else than lengthen the time spent in that ghetto of solitude. By now, the desert sun scorched his skin by day and the cold heat up his bone at night. But he was still standing, alive and well, guilty as a fish, and with a few more years on his shoulder. He didn't know how much road he had left behind, and he didn't know how much more was ahead of him. Like a pirate without a compass, and with the sails torn by the wind, he sailed on the open sea, prey to the force of the ocean. To compensate for the lack of affection, he drew from the spring water of an oasis that looked more like mirage than a solid reality. Objectively, he no longer knew how to distinguish between reality and fiction. Everything seemed to him a massive hallucination. He no longer understood whether or not he had quenched his need for affection. 
Balancing Between Two Worlds, The Cold Reasoning of the Mind, or The Sweet Warm of a Comfortable Marage. He strongly wanted to return in the UK, and so it was.